Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So this is just the rant that I have about the raid, the matchmaking drama that came before it and everything that's been going on in like the past 48 hours. So right before the raid was dropped, the developers came out and said they were not going to implement a matchmaking system and encourage the community to go out, you know, to LFG groups, Discord and all these places to look for coordinated teams. And so there's still a big uproar in the community because a lot of people want the promise that the developers made to be fulfilled. When developers go back on their word, they create a culture of skepticism against themselves. And this is exactly where it stems from. Massive had already promised their screenshots on Twitter showing that matchmaking is going to be available for every event. Yet for these raids, the developers have taken that functionality out and their own reasoning is that a coordinator group is needed in order to be successful in this raid. And their concern is valid. The only problem is the execution was done in a way that violated what they had already promised the community. And so they have a broken promise. They released a good product on a broken promise and the community feels like they've been lied to, which they have been lied to. We're just going to call it what it is. We're not babies anymore. I was going to make a video about this yesterday, but I was not in a clear state of mind to do so. And one of the things that being older teaches you is that you want to hold or reserve your judgment and see where everything is. Because trust me, while I was watching some, you know, of these teams try to beat this raid, I was like, yeah, these developers knew exactly the difficulty that they were setting and knowing that people will try to jump in there and be frustrated. They were they already encouraged a lot of people to go find groups. Now, that would have been a natural progression anyways. We're not little kids. When people were running the first set of incursions, when they were very difficult to run or pretty much almost impossible to do at some point, a lot of people went ahead and did LFG groups. They coordinated, added each other as friends, and then invited people to their groups and were able to then coordinate, talk to one another and run those missions. So no, there is no world or planet where we will still not have done this if the developers had just fulfilled their promise, left the matchmaking system there, and allow the community to just figure it out. That's one of the best ways to deliver a product. When you promise it, you deliver it. You, you know, I mean, sure, we didn't shake hands on it, but we made a transaction. And so a lot of people came out with a lot of skeptical statements. A lot of people came out with a lot of conspiratorial statements saying that this was done on purpose for, you know, the elite players to be able to first get in and beat the missions. Or some people were saying things like Ubisoft cannot handle the influx of people on the servers. And you know how things like these happen whenever you give room for these rumors. That's exactly what you're going to get. And then if you even look at all of Ubisoft's promotional material, a lot of people have said, I'm done with this game. I'm out. Maybe Ubisoft doesn't want me to play the game. And then they make a decision like this. And so what is going on here? People are losing trust in the developers. And this is going to continue to cascade into bigger and much more serious issues. They have one year worth of content to release. And already they're losing the trust of their own community. That's not a good sign. And for all of you who actually know, Massive is in development or I would say in a conceptualization phase working on the game Avatar. Now, that game already doesn't have a lot of popularity and the community that that game will probably sell to first is the Division 2 community. And if they cannot in any way build trust with this community, then that game is probably going to be dead on arrival because right now the trust is broken for this one action that they've taken. They've broken the trust of their community. I know you need a coordinated group. Yes. A lot of randoms will not be able to beat this. Yes. But you don't know every random right now. Even people have watched the entire raid. Some of the people who beat it already have videos up on YouTube and many of us can go there and watch their videos and know pretty much exactly what to do. And before you know what's happening, this division community randoms are going to be beating the raid out of nowhere. It's just the way it seems whenever new content lands, everybody gets, you know, all worked up. It seems like it's so difficult. Nobody can beat it. But over the course of time, build videos are going to come out. Ideas are going to start getting shared. And before you know what's happening, the raid is going to be a part of everything that we do, everything that we usually just regular day at the office and the division two. So I'm looking forward to playing the raid, but 
Right now, I don't have five, six hours at a stretch to invest. That's not happening. I'm a working dad. I'm a husband. <laughs> I have obligations to take care of. So to take a four or five hour stretch right now is very, very difficult, especially for me and a lot of other people who play the game. The young men who were able to finish the game today, fortunately for them, they usually work on doing content creation and gaming. So this is their job. And so they are in a very different frame of mind in doing these things. Whereas a lot of the other people who have watched and who've been seeing may not be able to spare this five hours until maybe Saturdays or Sundays, weekends, where they can try things like this. And they now know that they have to be very coordinated. A lot of people have to go back and farm in order to be able to fine tune their builds. And then a lot of lessons were learned today. In fact, you need to go back and watch any of the tapes or I said tapes, watch any of the recordings and you're going to see that even the teams who ran through these missions, even Marco and the guys, when they ran through the mission, they had mis they made mistakes because they were figuring it out for the first time, but they were just really resilient. And so from their mistakes, you can learn exactly what's necessary. So the raid has dropped and I have mixed feelings. I almost, I, I was so upset yesterday. I almost vowed not to touch the game until they put the matchmaking in the raids. I was very upset. I really did just want to make a very rash decision, but I had to calm down, think about everything and say, you know, in the end, there are people who are going to want to play this raid who still don't have a group. I have a YouTube channel. I can always put out the name of my clan and people can join that clan. And then from there, a lot of people might be able to get help to play. So I can also use my platform as a means of helping people. So I had to just calm down and not make a rash decision. But nonetheless, the voice of the community right now is that the developers have not kept their word and they're massive. If you want to sell another game in the coming future, <laughs> you need to start working on this matchmaking thing, because I'm telling you right now, there is a lot of skepticism between gamers and game developers. When people sing your praises and you make a decision like this, a decision that people will feel that you don't care about them, because I'm telling you, I believe that this decision was made a long time ago and was not communicated with the, with the community. Instead, they waited right before they dropped the raid, dropped the announcement, disappeared from stream, and then said, here's the raid. Go ahead and do as we have said. That's no way to do things. I'm telling you, people take these things personally, and it's because they invested and they've believed every word that these so-called developers have said. And so I've learned my lesson a long time ago, but at the same time, it's like these, these things continue to blindside many of us. And so we're learning, you know, a lot of us are learning. I make money off of the division two content, but how about the person who spent money on it? They feel worse than I do. I mean, I'm sitting here, I'm making content. This video is going to be watched. I mean, except Ubisoft goes like, no, we're demonetizing. We're going to, you know, file some whatever, then the video will get demonetized. But in the end, even if you can imagine how I feel having being a content creator for the division. And yes, I do benefit from the fact that Ubisoft allows for us to make content creative um, work around their games. It goes to show much more that even the person who's paid money, invested time, and is not getting anything other than the entertainment is going to feel much more even, I will say, sidelined than anything else. So Massive, listen to your community. And you can still make amends, but I'm telling you, <laughs> even right now, people are still not going to follow. And even if the matchmaking is put, people are going to feel like they've been betrayed because even on PlayStation and Xbox so far, as I'm recording this video, I've not heard of anyone that's actually completed the raids on those, you know, on those platforms, but people just want to experience it. I mean, I took the liberty. If you look at the clip that I have here to just run into the raids by myself, just to kind of get a feel for what I need. And I know for sure um, you're going to need a lot of DPS and you're going to need a lot of healing. There is no way around it. Like you're going to be able to need, you're going to need self-sustained DPS and you're going to need to be able to be your own healer in conjunction with dedicated healers. And so a lot of things are still left out there. A lot of things are still going to be learned as we're watching, as we're going through these raids. But nonetheless, it's still with mixed feelings within the community. I think Massive is thinking we'll be occupied too much with it, but you should go to the, the, the area chat in the base of operations on PC 
A lot of people are not happy. Go to the comment sections of the videos. A lot of people are not happy. It is just what it is. People are disappointed that such a functionality for something that was promised was taken away. Anyways, I want to hear your thoughts. That's my rant for tonight. I think I'm going to just lay it here uh, and put it down for now. And I'm not going to be able to play the raid just yet. If I find some people who want to play and who are coordinated, and if I can find a five hour stretch of time, I guess I'll give it a shot. But man, five hours time is money, man. Goodness. I would rather help people run through the raid than sit there and try to figure it out. If you understand what I mean, I'd rather just run with people who have never done the raid before and maybe try to see if I can help them. But I'm not even the best of players anyway. So <laughs> I'll probably be looking for people who can carry me through the darn thing. Anyways, I'm out. Um, it's not, it's late. I gotta, gotta get a sh some shut eye. I guess I'll talk to you guys soon. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.